So I'm starting on a clean face and I'm going to use my dual power moisturizer that I got from Walmart and I'm going to rub it in really well all over my face and I focus mainly on my nose because that's where my face seemed to be the driest. So I'm going to start with my eyebrows. Now I'm not at all a professional, but I'm just brushing it to get all the hairs in one direction. And I'm going to go to my Coastal Scents um, Concealer Corrector Palette. And I'm going to use this shade to just highlight under my brow, under and over my brow, just to get that fresh wax look. Um, I'm not a professional at all, and I'm not fond of the drawing of the eyebrows either so I just do this just so my eyebrows can look highlighted and I try to make sure that it's really really blended in and I do need to get my eyebrows done and this is a, this is great for when you need to get your eyebrows done as well and I'm just using my concealer brush After that, I'm going to grab my little brush again and I'm going to fix anything that I felt was out of place. And I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in C7 and my powder brush. I like to use a powder foundation because I have oily skin. It helps to know what your skin type is when choosing a foundation and I have oily skin so I use powder foundation. So I'm just dusting off the excess foundation before I apply it to my face and I try to make sure that I get all the, in all the places that I feel like I need coverage including my hairline after that's done I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and lips and this is from Clean Colors. The markings actually rubbed off, but it's okay because the content inside still works. And I just cover this all over my lids and under my eye, just in case I wanted to do something in my eye. And I love to use it on my lips. It helps my lipstick stay on longer. Next, I'm gonna grab my Hard Candy Eyeshadow Palette. And you can see I was actually looking for my other eyeshadow palette, but this is all I had on hand. And I'm going to get this nice, pretty green color, and I'm going to put it all over my lid. You can't even tell that it's green. That's why I really, I really like this palette. Next, to bring out my eyelids, I'm going to grab my NK Eye, eye, eye well, it's a lip pencil, but I use it for my eye, and it's in black, and I just go over my lid with a thin line. I don't know, I like to use lip, lip pencils for your eyes and eye pencil for your lips. So now I'm going to... Put my mascara on and these this is the falsies mascara and i believe this by maybelline i just grabbed it that's what i had close to me and i have really long eyelashes so i try to get all of them up and looking great I, I'm gonna use my dark purple NK lip pencil to outline my lips 
before I apply my lipstick. And this is a little blooper, but this wasn't really the color that I was looking for. I was looking for a brown, the coffee, the coffee color, but it's okay because I got to pick up my favorite lipstick from Black Radiance, and I believe this is African Violet. I will leave all the information down below. Isn't that a beautiful purple? It looks great on me. Now time to hair. I'm going to apply my grapeseed oil just to moisturize my hands because my hand tends to be a little dry and I'm using a little on my edges because my edges felt dry as well. And I did a two strand twist out on my kinky curly hair that I got from My Fashion Hair. I love the way this twist out came out. All I did was apply water, detangle, and twist. And I only had this twist in for about two hours. This hair dries really fast, so I was ready to get out the door. And for the top, I used my Lotta Body Setting Lotion to set the top of my hair, and I wrapped it around these gray, cold wave rods. So I'm almost finished taking out the all of my twists. I was smelling it because I could smell the hair. It smells really, really good. I'm just fluffing it out and shaping it the way that I want it. Further untwisting and fluffing up just so I could get my desired look. I'm slowly taking out the cold wave rods from my leave out just so I won't disturb the curl pattern of my leave out. And see, it's really, really curly. I love, my hair was actually soaking wet when I applied the curl with the cold, I'm sorry, the cold wave rods. So I was really surprised that my hair dried really fast. Um, it dried in the same time that the rest of the hair dried, so it was perfect because I was in a rush and out the door. So now I'm going to blend, and this is just a quick blending video, um, tutorial. Um, I twist my hair around the extensions, and then I curl, I curl the rest around my finger before laying it down on top of the hair. So I twist, do a couple of twists, and then twirl it around my fingers, and then lay it down on top of the rest of the hair. There's nothing to it. Um, this gets the job done for me. Of course, there's other ways of doing it, but I like to do it this way. Now, since I don't have a mirror in front of me, I'm going to further blend off camera and this is the finished look i'm ready and cute and ready to get out the door i'm wearing this sweater with these leopard leggings and some boots that my boyfriend got for me thank